Peter Buswell for DrVOIP.com. Let me show you where the log folders live. Out on your Shoreware server, in your root directory, you're going to have a folder called Shoreline Data. If you go there, it contains virtually everything you need to recreate the system in the event of a bare metal recovery. Two folders of interest today. Logs. This is where you're going to go. Look for uh, today's lessons, the VMAIL log folder, uh, excuse me, log file. It typically has a date and time format. Just click on that puppy, open them up, and you'll be looking at the log. We're going to look at this in detail. I also need you to know that the VMS folder contains the actual voicemail structure. You'll find one folder for each mailbox. This contains your greetings and name files for that mailbox. What you need to know is that the actual messages are stored here in the message folder and they are in WAV format, a uh, cryptic name, and I'll show you how to link these through the log. A look at the actual uh, log content. We've gone into the shoreline data folder, scrolled into the logs folder, and went down to VMAIL logs for the date and time we're interested in. Typically, you're going to have to, you know, have some information, uh, at least know what you're looking for. So in this case, the client uh, has said, um, message left in mailbox um, 8109, marked urgent, is supposed to outdial and call a cell phone, and that doesn't appear to be happening. So uh, fix it. So you're going to go into the log, and I guess you might start by uh, focusing in on the mailbox of interest, and I did a control F and searched for mailbox 8109 at about the time of the phone call and uh, was able to retrieve this snippet of the log. So let me walk you through it. It'll typically start new call and indicate the call handler for this. So this is not really a GUID, but um, this number will be associated with this call throughout the remainder of the call. You'll see call offering, the call handler, call connected, call handler. That's a useful uh, debugging tool. In this case here, I've highlighted um, that the caller, I've captured their caller ID. I see that they've called mailbox 8109, and they've been connected and that uh, caller ID information has been captured, not just for the display, but understand that the short tell can return a phone call, uh, option 5, option 2. In this case, uh, we do get a unique GUID for this phone call, so this can be useful in tracing through the TMS logs in addition to this voicemail log, but we're focused on a voicemail issue. We can see here that uh, the mailbox has been successfully opened, and again, the caller called 8109, all very useful debugging information. So far, we know that uh, the call did come in. Uh, we also know the trunk group it came in on. We can see here that auto find me for this mailbox has been disabled. You'll begin to see play phrase. Uh, and over a period of time, you will actually build a little data dictionary uh, so that you know what phrase 152 is. And at this point, um, your call has been transferred to a short tell voicemail system. And th the next thing you're going to hear is that caller's name. And once again, if you remember from the intro clip, Shoreline Data, VMS, Shortel, Mailbox 8109, 8109 name.wave. So here's the information that we know the caller is now listening to um, the owner's name recording. You'll see uh, play phrase appear several times, and they're typically related to uh, pre recorded uh, short tell prompts. And as I said, you'll begin to build a library of these things. Um, at this point, the Shortel has gotten um, available message space and is now recording the actual voicemail message. 
And this is where that cryptic 3K C2 DP926 dot wave that we saw in the intro clip is created. And we can now associate this file name with this mailbox and we'll have the pointer to the message file to retrieve this. Be on the lookout for digit detected because typically that is in response to a caller generated um, keystroke and in this case a message marked urgent triggers the out dial so um, we can see here the digit detected pound uh, and that was typically at the end of recording a message so we've recorded this message and terminated it with pound and here you can see that we're about to mark this message urgent by hitting three and pound. So, so far we know that the call did come in, we know who it came to, we know that the message uh, file was in fact recorded, and we can see it was marked urgent. And now we're looking to see if the um, voicemail system does the rest of what it was told to do, out dial. So in this case we've created the message. I can see here that um, a email was created and an email notification the shortel will send uh, a text or a WAV file to an email address on receipt of a message and that's what's happening here we can see that the message was formed it was sent to this email address um, and you can see the the content of the actual text message at that point we're looking to see has out dial started for this message and look here's what we're looking for here out dial has in fact begun and the system is apparently calling this phone number to alert that person that a message has been received so uh, once again the mailbox uh, 8109 in this case is is being uh, opened by the system after out dialing here. Uh, we can suspect that the caller will, who has received the message notification and I uh, can see here that the system has detected digit one which typically means you know, you're going to accept the call. You notice back here that it once again played the name wave file so it out dialed the phone number, said it's the short tell voicemail system, uh, that's play phrase two, with a message for played the name file here, and things are going along uh, as indicated. Person dialed one uh, to accept the call, and uh, you can actually, at this point, see the actual password that the uh, owner of the mailbox has put in. Um, in versions prior to 10, the password is actually in clear text if you know where to look for it. So at this point, the person is inside um, the mailbox. They have uh, listened to the message and we have stopped the out dial for the current message. So in this situation here, we have a log file that confirms not only that the out dial did happen, but it was responded to by the target um, and a password was put in, the message was retrieved. You can see here that the message has been uh, erased in the queue for this mailbox and the out dial entry has been deleted. So that's a fairly uh, verbose log. Um, it's English-like and it's relatively easy to decode. So in this situation, we have successfully watched the message left by the caller and we can follow the message notification.